don't wanna be anything But right here in this moment I'm free, I'm free Living right here in this moment Okay, so welcome back to another episode of The Couples That Day. So, we have a requested juice review from the company themselves, and the company is. So, apparently, they have been making juice for over five years now, and they got in contact with us and asked if we would review some of their juices. So, we went online and we picked a few, uh, three each, and they sent us seven. I guess they sent us one that they just feel is like their best juice. They said it's their best seller. It's their best seller. So first off, we'll start off with mango peach ice cream. It does. Their labeling needs some more. Um, it's just. It, I think that they could do a lot more better with their labeling. But it does it does have a lot of good information on it though. I love the amount of information that's on it. Exactly. Maybe just the design, maybe. See, I'm the one that usually picks apart the labeling and the bottle and everything about it um, from top to bottom. Just because I want to know what I'm vaping. I want to know the PG, the VG, the milligrams of nicotine. Um, I've never seen ingredients on it before. Ingredients. And that's awesome that they put their um, ingredients. Also, they have on here, keep this to a cool, dark place, and away from children. That's a good just reminder An to expiration people. expiration date. Yep, expiration date. Uh, warning, nicotine warning. is a poison. So they're, they have a lot of great information on there that is impertinent to what I like to see on a ball. Okay, so let's see how she tastes. I mean, they're hitting all the right notes of what it's called. Um, can definitely taste the peach. Uh, <clears throat> can definitely taste the mango, the creamy aftertaste. Um, they're definitely hitting all the notes perfectly with this. Um, it's not my flavor. She's more of the fruits and sweets type of person. I'm more of the savory, you know, desserts type of person. Um, so I'm going to refer to her opinion. This is definitely on the top of the list. Um, I've had a hard time finding the juice that had the right sweet flavor that I like. And there are a few out there that I found that I like, but there's very few. I mean few, like only a couple. This, if you've ever had a mango juice drink, tastes just like it. I want to drink it. That's how I like it. So, um, I've got a new favorite. Definitely a good one. Which one did I get? <clears throat> okay, so next up is... So blues. This one is all the same information that was impertinent to me liking the label as far as information wise. And this one I like a little bit better because they played with it a little bit. They put uh, glasses and hat like the blues travelers have on it, on the blueberry, which was really cool and I thought that was kind of fun. This is their best seller and it's blue, purple-ish color. So let's dive right into it. Okay, so let's see how she rips. I like it. It's very sweet. I don't get blueberry, but I get great Kool-Aid. They definitely nailed it on the head. Um, I mean, their flavor is on point. This is two out of the seven, and I haven't tasted a flavor anything like this. I mean, it's good. Oh, luckily, just so you know, the purple does go away off the top. So it's a plus. Yeah, you still have some. 
It really does. It tastes like I just took a sip of some great cool oil. It even smells like grape Kool-Aid. I, I don't know if this should be House of Blues. I think this should be Kool-Aid Man. Oh, yeah. Good name for it. You oh, that, yeah. You hear that lifestyle, you can have that one. Oh, yeah. Great Kool-Aid. Tastes like grape Kool-Aid. Who doesn't love great Kool-Aid? Oh. Perfectly sweet. Tastes like grape Kool-Aid. Again, not my cup of tea. Fruity flavors, not really into them too much. Okay, so our next flavor is going to be the randomizer here. It is strawberries and cream. Sound yummy. And it does sound yummy. Um, same thing with Louisville. Uh, I'm just going to go over real quick. Same stuff. All the impertinent information that I like on it is on it. Do something about the picture. Now, one thing I will say is that there are a lot of flavor juices out there claiming to be strawberry and cream flavor. Most of them that I've tried, not naming any brands, but... Most of them that I've tried have been really strawberry or really creamy, custardy. Almost. I've never found anything that tasted like strawberry and cream, which strawberry and cream to me is strawberry and cool whip. Okay, strawberry whipped cream then. The one in the can that goes to It's still not strawberry and cream. Okay. It's whipped cream, so it aerates it, so it gives you a different texture. Strawberries and cream, though. Oh, yeah, it's pretty cool. Cream. Oh. But I haven't tasted a good strawberry and cream juice yet. Chucker. You know what it reminds me of? There's this ice cream place where you go to and you pick your ice cream. And I would always get like vanilla, French vanilla, and I would get them to chop up strawberries in it. Yes. That's what it tastes like. Yes. Fresh strawberries mixed with ice cream. That is yummy. It is. That's that's uh that's pretty good. But that is good. Yup. I think by far the best strawberries and cream I've tasted. Honestly. Uh, mm. For me, because a lot of the strawberry and cream come along with a pastry or a... See, no, I like the custardy flavors. You don't. See, I don't like and that sour that's... aftertaste. I, I like that little sour aftertaste. She doesn't. I don't. I like it sweet and sweet and creamy. I like it creamy. You do. You like it sour. Okay, so our randomizer. Our next one is banana nut bread. And just like the last label, I'm going to say it again. All the important information is there that I want to see on here is on here. Just need to do something about the picture and stuff. So this will probably be up my alley, considering it's more of a savory. Yeah. Right up there, and around the corner. Put it up there, yeah. Would you like to say it first, man? Sure. Yeah. yeah, that's something that I'd like to know. Um, about like food allergies, not wise. Is there not in here? Or not? Like, what the flavoring that they use? Does it contain nuts? Maybe I mean, I'm not be, allergic to nuts, but. Maybe that would be good to put on the label. It probably would be. I mean, it's kind of like that. Morning. Just, just saying, guys. Oh, it is banana nut bread. Yeah. So, it is so I nut. probably won't like it because I don't like nuts. I mean, I like your nuts, but I don't like nuts. Okay. So, let's see how she rips. These types of days are fucked. Wish I wasn't waking up. Did my grandmother make this? I don't know. But, um, yeah. That is good. I don't think you can have this one. Mm, I'm not getting the nuts. I am on the aftertaste. 
Like, it tastes like a warm piece of banana bread. Like that banana flavor hits right up. Then the second tone is the Bread. reddish flavor, and then the after note, that aftertaste is that nut. It makes my mouth flavor. water. But yeah, it is, that's damn tasty. That is good. It makes your mouth water. It does. So our randomizer is going to pick the next one. Ching ching. Is hair a dice? melons. Same thing again. Impertinent information is on there that I want to see on there. Um, just wish that they would do something with the picture. It's kind of, I mean, the labeling guy is just working on it. I don't know if that's your permanent label. Oh, but we you know check. what? The picture is pretty awesome if they just made it bigger so you could see it. It's, it's palm trees and then melons and a pear and a sunset on a beach. If they just blew it up some, that would be a super awesome label. Okay, so let's see how she tastes. I'm free. Watermelon. Cantaloupe. Watermelon immediately. That's the first note that you get. Cantaloupe. Cantaloupe. Hair. Yep. That dry kind of hair aftertaste. Hair honeydew. It's like all of the good fruits mixed in one. It's very tasty. I'm not much of a fruit person, but that's... You hit the nail on the head on all the flavor. Yeah. Our randomizer is gonna go down. <laughs> Caribbean cojito. It looks like cojito, cojito. Cojito. Um, same thing on the label. Love all the important information. Just need to get the label a little bit. Yeah. So. Let's juice her up. Okay, so let's see how she tries. It tastes like a mojito. Like a mojito, yeah. With a little coconut. A little hint of coconut. Mm -hmm. But I can even taste. What do they put in a mojito? Tequila? Mint. I don't taste mint. Lime. And I think it's because um, yeah, I'm pretty sure. And salsa water or some kind of. It tastes like a mojito. But well, it's really. But I'm. That's really weird, but it's good. It is good. It's like really good. It has a little bit of a bite from the lime. A lot of the citrus flavors out there have kind of like this little bite. This like like you bite into a actual acidic fruit like oranges lemon limes so citrusy it's kind of mouth watering too yeah it's good i think that this would be a good like beer vape yeah it's it hitting all the notes i mean it's good it's really good i would vape it Oh, I definitely would vape it. Uh, I mean, I want that one. As long as I can have a squirt or two of your banana bread. Every once in a while, yeah, sure. You squirt me every once I'll in a while? Squirt you every once in a while. Thank you, baby. <coughs> good juice. Very good juice. Okay, so, our next one up. Don't need the random mouse. They have a camera in the world. One day at a time. Is caramel pecan praline like the last one and the one before it? Same thing. And pertinent information is there that I want to see on the bottle. Something about the labeling. I don't know, like I said, if this is their specific labeling or if they have a different labeling technique or a different label altogether. Without further ado, yeah, you gotta put my nuts in your mouth. Definitely not. I'm not a nut person. Okay, so let's see how she chucks. That is really good. I don't like nuts, but I like it. It's almost like um, you get that you get that caramel taste. On the front. 
And then that nutty taste in the aftertaste is the cream. It's, it's and I don't even really like it good. Like, I didn't even want to try it. But. They've hit all the notes. The bottle says that they had, and I taste it. Good. Very good. Okay, so we do a thumbs up, thumbs down review. Two thumbs up. Check it out. You know, maybe get a free sample from them or something. A lot of vape stores will send you a little, a little bottle. Uh, if they want your customer service, if you want to do customer service, I think that's a great way to draw in new clientele. The little I tiny would, ones. I would say definitely, if none of the flavors that we've tried suit you, I'd definitely check them out because every one of these I would think, I mean, the flavor uh, is great. I, I will probably order from them. They hit every note they describe in their juice. I could taste it all. Very so, good. as far as the banana br nut bread, two thumbs up for me. Now for the caramel pecan and praline. Now the Caribbean cojito. The Paradise Melon, the House of Blues, Strawberries and Cream, Mango Peach Ice Cream. Does anybody have thumbs I can borrow because I need like a hundred more because that one's yummy. Yummy juice, yummy juice, yummy juice, yummy juice, yummy juice. Okay, so that is our review of... Lifestyle Vapors. Definitely check them out. Um, the link and information will be right down there. Um, and just remember, everyone, keep on spreading that vapor love, and we will talk to you later. Don't even notice till they get over heels. A generation is fucked, just temptation and drugs. Fashion and gritty lies, they devastate in our love. But they will notice till the moment is past. And I ain't worried they ain't holding me back. Just remember that I warned you before. That we fight in the same race, cause our world is a war. Uh. I don't wanna be anything. But right here. Just look back at all the history, disappear with my goals. They try to lure me in, but I ain't sure I win. I guess I just find it something that I've endured again. I won't let it poison me, whatever the choice would be. I'm trying to lead by example, so I just point and leave. I'm just going to be guarding. Vasturbating. Vasturbating. Little known fact, if you're just getting into the vape community and whatnot, coffee is actually really good because smelling the grounds will kind of cleanse your palate. And I find that straight black coffee as well kind of cleans the palate. Cleans my palate with a little sugar and cream. Yum. Coffee tastes so good with baby. I can barely fit my hand around it. That's what she said. You heard it. <laughs>